another episode of the Douglas the Dean podcast. Like, comment, and subscribe. All right, all right, all right. The headline was just to get you in. It had a storyline. When I first saw Charlotte team up with Lacey Evans, and I said, oh, you know what? It makes sense because uh, uh, Charlotte and Lacey's uh, from Charlotte, the character's from Charlotte, and um, I just like their chemistry together, and I thought that they would look they would have looked really good to me with the tag titles uh, rather than her with Becky. And that was around that time. But yeah, I had this crazy story that it would fit Ric Flair because it, 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 it to me, reminded me of the old WCW soap opera-ish crazy storylines with him in the Psycho Ward and things like that. But I could see that. You know, happening as a possibility, especially with this lead in, you know, they're about to go at it and he just comes out, wait, 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 she's your sister, she's your sister, my daughter, my daughter, your sister, you can't do that, you know, so, you know, it looks like the type of thing that, you know, Vinnie McDonald probably would have gone for, you know, more so in the attitude days, you know, these days, I can't even tell. You know what's going on with this company? They're coming or going and going and coming and whatever, whatever. But I think that you know it would have been a, a cool storyline. That I mean, if you if, let's just say they did that, and it would eventually somewhere down the line. I mean, look, I don't know when Becky's going to return. Um, but you could somewhere down the line after this revelation, you could have. Charlotte turn on Asuka and this time if they were to face off let's say SummerSlam or whatever how are they going to do it Asuka would be the face now I believe because I can't recall if she was the heel that that, that WrestleMania or what the deal was um, or if it was just a mutual standing but um, yeah that would be something actually be cool let's say if Becky doesn't come back you know, Royal Rumble-esque, you know, time. But it would be cool to have something like that go down and they turn on Asuka and then Becky would show up. Especially, especially, what's wrong with me? What's wrong? Especially with her being the one to give the belt, uh, the Raw women's title over because we know that's taboo, over over to Asuka before she uh, went on her leave. So to have her come out or run out, that would actually be a really good surprise if that were to happen. And uh, then her and Asuka can team up and, you know, have a tag run or something like that. You know, who knows? I mean, as long as it's keeping the the titles in the hands, those t- especially those titles in the hands of your popular talent, so you want to have them rotate. So now, as we just saw Charlotte and Asuka on SmackDown, and hopefully they'll go over to NXT or whatever, but now you still have uh, uh, Lacey and Charlotte. You can also have Asuka and Becky if they, you know, were to win this back again. So you'd have this, you know, your popular, what's perceived as your popular talent go to these other um, shows. It would be very interesting then, I'm thinking about it, to have them fly over to the UK when, you know, things open up or whatever. Or at least just cut a promo with, you know, I don't know what, I haven't really paid attention. I haven't paid any attention to, um, NXT UK. So, you know, if they do have women that are teaming, that would be cool. But uh, yeah, I think the storyline with those two being sisters would uh, work. Like I said, something that came out with a long time ago. That's it. I'm out. Thank you again for listening. Keeping this one short and sweet. Deuces.